Life is about movement and vitality. Don't let vein disease slow you down. Our cutting edge procedures are minimally invasive with little to no downtime. Rediscover healthy, beautiful legs that keep up with your life. Regain your confidence and freedom to enjoy every moment. Choose Vein Clinics of Hawaii. Your journey to healthier veins start here. Aloha, it's Kiana Kayavyab, and here are today's top Hawaii headlines from the editors at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Also, mahalo to Long's Drugs Hawaii for sponsoring the show. Head on over to your neighborhood Long's Drugs for all your shopping needs. Relief and search efforts continue today and throughout the weekend on Maui in the aftermath of the devastating August 8th wildfires that killed at least 115 people. On Thursday night, Maui County released an official list of the names of 388 people who have been reported unaccounted for after fire destroyed most of Lahaina. County officials said the names are being provided to the public to help identify anyone who can be accounted for. The Maui Police Department said if you recognize a name on the list and you know the person is safe or if you have additional information about the person's whereabouts, contact the FBI at 808 566-4300. County officials also said that 1,732 individuals who had originally been reported as unaccounted for have since been found safe and well. To see the full list of names of the missing and for more information, go to StarAdvertiser.com. Initial water samples tested at Lahaina and Kula following the Maui fires have shown just trace amounts of contaminants. John Stuffelbean, the director of Maui's Department of Water Supply, told a Kula community meeting that there have been trace amounts of chemicals in some water samples, but that they fall well below federal limits. Stuffelbean said the county's mission is to make sure the system is safe, so more testing will be done. He said an ongoing unsafe water advisory for the areas will stay in place. The advisory for Lahaina and upcountry areas had warned the public against drinking or boiling tap water. Officials said the advisory was issued as a precautionary measure while testing continues. FEMA opened a disaster recovery center today in upcountry Maui, so residents affected by the wildfires can learn about local, state, and federal assistance programs. Federal Emergency Management Agency officials said affected residents are not required to visit the Disaster Recovery Center to register for FEMA assistance, but the center is available for those who would like to speak to a FEMA specialist in person. Specialists from the U.S. Small Business Administration, which provides low-interest disaster loans to homeowners, renters, and businesses, will also be at the center. The Upcountry Maui Disaster Recovery Center is located in the Mare Hannibal Tavares Community Center at 91 Pukalani Street in Makawao. It is open from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. daily. Disaster Recovery Center specialists can answer questions about assistance programs as well as clarify next steps and give helpful information. Shares of Hawaiian Electric Industries Inc. fell another 18% today on Wall Street to the lowest level since 1984. The latest drop in the plummeting stock came after the company said Thursday that it would draw down on credit lines and suspend its dividend to preserve cash in the wake of the deadly wildfires on Maui. Hawaiian Electric, which owns the utility that serves Maui, also said it will halt dividend payouts starting in the third quarter, an unusual move that indicates potential financial distress. Hawaiian Electric has come under scrutiny for the role its power lines may have played in sparking the fires that raised Lahaina. About a dozen lawsuits have been filed so far against the company, including one by Maui County on Thursday. Finally, Hawaii health officials say Maui County is experiencing an uptick in COVID-19 cases after the wildfire disaster, which left thousands of residents homeless. State epidemiologist Sarah Kemble said today that COVID numbers have been steadily increasing over the last month in Hawaii and nationwide. Kemble said that over the last week on Maui, there have been signs of an even further increase of COVID-19 cases. Kemble reminded the public that boosters are widely available and recommended those at higher risk, including people who are 65 and older or have underlying conditions, should consider masking in public places and crowded settings. 
On Wednesday, the Hawaii Department of Health reported a seven-day average of 153 cases per day, up from 88 a day in mid-July. Maui County has been averaging 14 new cases a day for the past two weeks. For more on these stories and all the latest headlines, subscribe to the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Visit Hawaii's top source for breaking news online at StarAdvertiser.com and download the Star Advertiser mobile app. Mahalo, have a great weekend, and we'll see you back here next week Monday. Call us at 808-585-2955 or visit our website at theinclinicsofhawaii.com to schedule your call.